Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Ubuntu 16.4 on VMware Virtual Machine. I have VMware Player installed but this procedure can be used for um, VMware Workstation also. So first of all, hopefully, hopefully you already have installed uh, VMware Virtual Machine. I as I said, I already have VMware Player, but um, hopefully you already have a VMware Player or a Workstation, right? Now, the first step here is to download the ISO file for Ubuntu. So just search for Ubuntu and the first website, hopefully, which will appear here will be from ubuntu.com. So just click on this uh, URL and then we are going to go to download and in the download click ubuntu desktop and in the desktop you can see two versions one is ubuntu 16.04 lts lts stands for long term service version which will be supported for a longer time and the other is 16.0 which will be supported for uh, nine months you can see every nine months ubuntu releases a new version so i will suggest you to download uh, this version which says lts and click on this download button which will lead you to this page here if you want you can uh, you know pay some donation to ubuntu in order to download this or otherwise you can just uh, you know make these progress bar to zero and then click download Ubuntu desktop okay so what I have done is I have already downloaded this ISO file because it's a relatively big file which is 1.4 GB so I have already downloaded this file and after downloading it's going to look like this so this will be something like this Ubuntu 16.4 desktop amd 64.iso file okay once this file is downloaded just open your vmware virtual machine and in here we are going to create a new virtual machine right so click home here and then just click create a new virtual machine and then the next step will be the installation wizard we will just select i will install operating system later and then click next and we want to install a linux and from here you need to choose ubuntu 64 bit so just uh, choose ubuntu 64 bit and then click next and this will be the name of your virtual machine you can see i already have some virtual machine installed including ubuntu so i will name it as ubuntu 64 bit 2 but in your case you can leave it as default okay and then click next and here just leave everything as default this will be the maximum size needed for ubuntu so just leave it as default and then click next and then click finish once you click finish you will be able to see your virtual machine created here but still you are not uh, ready to start your virtual machine because we haven't provided any path to the virtual machine so select your um, virtual machine which you have created and then click edit virtual machine settings and in here you can provide uh, different settings to your virtual machine first is the memory by default uh, 1 gb memory is set but we can increase it to for example for 4 gb depending upon the you know uh, memory available in your computer second is the processors by default uh, vmware will allocate one processor for your virtual machine which you can uh, increase for example i want to use two processor or two cores for my machine right this is the hard disk i don't want to change uh, this uh, 20 gb but if you want you can uh, change it now the next is the cd dvd and from here you can give the path of your iso file so just select cd slash dvd sata 
and then choose this option which says use ISO image file and then browse for the file. So we will browse for uh, this uh, ISO file which we have downloaded. So I will just copy the path and paste it here and then just select this ISO file and click open. Okay, I will minimize this. And once you are done with uh, the path, uh, you know, selection, then you can click OK. And now we can uh, just uh, play our virtual machine, which will start the installation. So select your virtual machine, which you have created, and then click this button, which says play virtual machine. It's going to start the installation for Ubuntu 16.4 uh, virtual machine. So you can see the installation has been started. First of all, you will be able to see this kind of screen and then you will be able to see the installation wizard for Ubuntu. So in the next step, you will be able to see this kind of uh, interface which says try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. And on the left hand side, you can select the language in which you want to install Ubuntu. So for now, I want to choose English as the installation uh, language and I will just click this uh, button which says install Ubuntu. Now in the next step, uh, it says prepare to install Ubuntu. In this case, you just need to check both the option. I prefer to choose both the option which says download updates while installing Ubuntu and install third party software for graphics, right? So I will prefer to check both the option and click continue and in the next step it says uh, choose the installation type this computer currently has no uh, detected operating system what would you like to do so this option which is uh, by default selected is okay some people may think that uh, erase disk how uh, it will work it will uh, not erase your uh, original host operating system uh, disk is just uh, an option right so just leave it as uh, it is this can install Ubuntu uh, checked right and then click install now and then click continue and here you just need to choose the region in which you are living my region is automatically selected hopefully your region will also be automatically selected so you just need to click next in here in the next step you can choose the desktop or keyboard layout for you. So as I have a German keyboard layout, I can choose from here. In case you have any other language keyboard layout, you can choose your preferred keyboard layout. Or if you're not sure, just leave it as default and then click continue. Okay. Now in the next step, uh, you will be asked your uh, to give your uh, username and computer name for your Ubuntu installation. So I will give uh, the usernames, I will give code bind and uh, the computer name I will uh, just leave it as uh, code bind itself, the same name as uh, the name of the computer, right? And uh, then you need to give the password here, just give any password which you, whichever you like and repeat your password again and then click continue. And now the installation for uh, Ubuntu operating system on uh, VMware has been started. It will take uh, around uh, 10 to 15 minutes to uh, complete the installation. In some cases, it can take uh, lesser time also. And just wait for uh, this progress bar to go to 100%. And then uh, I will pause the video for now because it can take a little bit longer. And once this step is complete i'm going to uh, you know continue with the video so now the installation for ubuntu 16.4.4 uh, operating system on my vmware player is complete and it says installation complete you need to restart your computer so you can uh, just press uh, restart now button which is going to essentially restart uh, your ubuntu operating system on your virtual machine you can see it's uh, restarting and uh, it says please uh, remove the installation medium and press enter so you can just press enter here so now uh, the ubuntu operating system has been restarted and now you just need to give the password you have provided at the time of installation and press enter 
and hopefully you will be able to see the icons on the left hand bar and hopefully you will be able to you know run your ubuntu as a virtual machine on the vmware player okay so just wait for a few seconds and on the left hand side this bar will appear automatically so here it is so this bar is appearing so now when you expand so installation is successful everything is working your ubuntu operating system is working but when you uh, click you know this uh, maximize button this screen is uh, you know this ubuntu desktop is not resizing according to uh, the virtual machine uh, you know size you can click this button also but uh, nothing happens so for to solve this problem what you can do here is you can open the terminal you can uh, search for the terminal from here or you can press ctrl alt t to open the terminal and it's going to open the terminal right so just for the terminal here and then once the terminal is open i have also pressed ctrl alt t so second terminal is open so once your terminal is open you just need to type this command sudo apt minus get install open vm tool so open minus vm minus tools okay and press enter and then give your password of your computer which you have provided and now it says uh, just provide y yeah, yes for y and if you don't want this then press uh, n key so i'm going to press y key and then press enter and it will also take a couple of minutes so just be patient once uh, this installation of open vm tool is uh, completed we can continue with our tutorial okay so once this open vm tool is installed we will just give one more command so just uh, use the previous command which says sudo apt minus get install open vm vm tool the same command which we have used last time and just add minus desktop here okay and press enter and once again press y and press enter and once uh, this installation is complete you need to reboot your computer you can reboot your uh, ubuntu operating system by going to this uh, settings uh, button and then click uh, set shut down and there will be option to reboot or you can simply give the command reboot here okay just type reboot and press enter and it's going to reboot your ubuntu operating system automatically so we will log in once again here and press enter and this time when uh, we will use uh, this option which is enter full screen mode which is this option you can see your uh, ubuntu desktop is resized according to the size of your virtual machine yeah or otherwise you can just uh, resize by dragging like this also so whatever size you want for your uh, ubuntu operating system you can just drag and drop and fit to that size so i hope you have enjoyed this video please recommend subscribe and bye for now